In this handover video, I'm going to show you how to use your awning, which is a Dometic Omnistat awning on the new Eldis AutoQuest slash Signature range. Take your awning winding handle, which can be found in the vehicle. Pop it into the front there and wind the canopy out until you can reach inside of the canopy. So you can just keep winding to about there. And then what you'll want to do is get your legs out. So they are spring loaded from the end. So you just push the end in and the leg will come out. And then your legs on the new style going in come from the middle outwards. So you just slide them out. So if they come out like that, what you need to do is just lift it up, turn your leg, slide it out and there's a little clip here, and it'll clip in. So you'll see on the end there's a black tab, this is a clip. So when you're putting it away, you need to press this and that allows it to slide back on itself. So clip that in. Then if you lift the black sleeve from the top, You'd manage to get the leg, telescopic leg, adjust the height, then push this clip down. You may feel like you're going to break it, you're not. Push it down, that locks the leg, and slide this sleeve back over. Do exactly the same on this side. So, spring loaded, slide it out, slide the leg down, clips, clips in, lift the sleeve. Just the height, push down, drop the sleeve on top. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to wind it. So to use your winder again, so this just bears the weight on these legs here. So if you just keep winding, and then every so just move your, your feet out and then wind some more. Just keep walking it out until you have your house far enough. So keep walking it out. And then you've got a rafter bar, which is the centre support, which gives some support on these legs here, which is just lives in there. So again, spring loaded end, and then you'll just have to fish the awning out. The bar, so, like so, one end clips in here, and one end clips in there. So, I need to go a little bit more with the morning by walking it out. So, And then that clips in there, and then that's your rafter bar in position, which torps the canopy a bit more and gives it that extra bit of stability. But should the wind speed be more than 15 mile an hour, don't have your awning out at all. And if you go out for the day or go to bed on an evening, make sure your awning's in. And if you're using an air awning, on the front of the awning here, you've got a C rail, so you get a driveway kit which would attach to this channel and they'll attach an air tent to the side of the motorhome. So to put away, take your after bar out. And that just goes back in there. So push it in one end. Make sure push right into the the back channel to get the legs in and then you'd walk it in so walk it in <coughs> walk in the awning in until you get that big so just about there and then if you just release the legs so Lift the collar up, lift that up, push the tab in, slide it in.
Yeah. I don't mean like so. Clip the foot in, and then you want to do exactly the same the other side. So make sure you're owning your afterbars still pushed right in because it does move. So lift the collar, lift the leg, slide it up, clip, slide the clip in, in the middle of the vehicle, push down, and then push your, your feet. The chrome little uh, feet on the end of the awning legs is where you put the pegs to peg it into the grass on your site. And then all you need to do is wind it in, It in like so and then what you'll need to do is if your own handles got stuck just push it up give it a turn and it'll release